Welcome to RJ Crazy News Headlines on a special Thursday to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, before I move on, let me address one thing once and for all. Now, I support the JCF 100%. The drive to get criminals and rid Jamaica of crime and violence. But what I don't support is the mismanagement and the mishandling of criminals and the inadequate evidence to prosecute criminals by JCF. We are living in an era where technology is vast, technology is so present that you do not need witnesses to come forward and give evidence. With all this ballistic and all this new technology, the JCF should not have any problem charging and having strong evidence against criminals. They are forensic team, right? And also a forensic department. So they can easily use the forensic department or the team to match the fingerprint of a criminal who uses a gun to commit a murder. So you don't need witnesses to actually prosecute and bring a criminal to justice. Now this picture is of Nicholas Eve Ruben from last year, 2022 in June. He was wanted by the police from last year. Now what I found very disturbing is that Nicholas Eve Ruben turned himself into the police last year with his lawyer along with a next wanted man and he was charged for murder now if you don't believe me look at this Jamaica Observer article from last year see exactly where it says June 1st 2022 that's last year the 1st of June now Nicholas Rubin an ex wanted man turned himself into Westmoreland police and they were charged for murder. Now Ruben and Cooper turned themselves in. Ruben came in with his lawyer and he was charged for murder and he's now in police custody. Along with Odie and Cooper, the lawman confirmed. Now tell me now, if he was charged with murder and he's now in police custody, why was he freed? JCF, why was Ruben freed? Why was Nicholas Ruben freed? Why was Nicholas Evil Ruben freed after he was charged for murder last year and he was in custody? Westman and police wanna have to answer that. Wanna have to seriously answer that. To the point that Ruben was in St. Best from last year. Westman and police, don't tell me you don't have any witnesses or not any concrete evidence or money run, program run. It has to be. One of can't let go of this murderer because no feel like letting go. It has to be not enough witnesses, no solid evidence, or just money run behind the scenes. That this youth, so dangerous, could have been in Burn Savannah, St. Elizabeth, change all him address to. This youth is not even from St. Bess. He's originally from the parish of Westmoreland. And he went to St. Bess from last year after being released by the police and reside in Burn Savannah. Can you imagine? He was charged, you know, last year locked up and released and now this year in august he's now killed by the police which was yesterday now jcf i have a question to ask you are you releasing criminals deliberately to go and hunt them afterwards or you are allegedly taking money from corp lawyers of these criminals to release them or some money around behind the scenes, allegedly. 
Or is it that we just don't have enough evidence or witness to charge these criminals? It cannot be, you know, my people, it just cannot be. It's unbelievable that this man was in custody for murder, you know. He was charged and released and one year later he is killed in the parish of St. Bess. Jamaica is the only country in the globe that has these kinds of slackness. This is why Jamaica will never be better because corruption is the reason why these criminals can walk freely among you in Jamaica. In America, these things don't happen. In Canada, these things don't happen. In England, other Caribbean countries, these things do not happen. Only Jamaica in the globe. And this shows that JCF are run an amateur organization. Nowhere else but in Jamaica, criminals are charged for murder. Two weeks time, one month time, they are on the road free. Look at in Malvern. Vivian Klansman Godfrey commit 10 murders and there's no curfew for him, no JCF supervision by the Malvern police and he's allowed to actually take taxi regular members of the Malvern community to Santa Cruz, the town of Santa Cruz, a man who commit 10 murders and placed in Malvern by the Westmoreland court. Criminals have too much rights. Criminals have too much privilege in Jamaica. And this a mess up Jamaica. Criminals have too much rights and privilege more than law abiding Jamaicans. Because the system in Jamaica is very corrupt. The system caters to criminals, not victims, not law abiding Jamaicans. Jamaica is too corrupt. Jamaica is deep in corruption. These things should not happen. Criminals should not be allowed to walk freely after being charged. As a matter of fact, criminals who commit murders should not be granted bail. Jamaicans are frustrated. Law abiding Jamaicans are frustrated with the law and also the JCF. JCF, your work should be done properly and more professional. You cannot have these serpents being let go to roam free after being charged. Provide concrete evidence to hold them in the jail cell. Now we head towards them be Clarendon to be exact, in a place called Quarry Road, in a church compound. Now on Tuesday night, a man was found with gunshot wounds in a church compound in Denby Clarendon. Now in every church is Denby Church of Nazarene on Quarry Road in Denby Clarendon. Now based on information, the man right now is not known to the police. Now on Tuesday night, around 8.50 p.m., the police were called by residents after hearing gunshot wounds coming from the churchyard. Now the police investigate where they found a man who is not known to the public right now with gunshot wounds all over his body. Now several special were found beside the body. The police are investigating. Now we head towards the parish of Trelawney. Wednesday evening around 6.15 p.m. the police found eight skulls, eight human skulls in a bushy area in Cora Spring in Chilani, Jamaica. Now based on information, based on the police information, it appears that the skull were dumped and burnt there at this location where the area is also a illegal dumping site. Now to my viewers, it's obvious that these eight skulls could be eight missing persons who have gone missing in Jamaica. And we know you know, these burn off skulls 
our human remains were done by Nazi scammers or cult members. Yeah, man. Ones who do these things. Nazi scammers, the choppers, and also cult members. They do it as rituals to the devil. We tell all the world that there's a serious underground demonic cult agency in Jamaica. And I believe that these eight skulls are of missing persons who were sacrificed. So I'm not surprised because Jamaica has a high frequency of wickedness, demonic practices, cult-like activities, and satanic worshipping. So I'm not surprised that these eight human skulls were found. Now here towards the parish of St. James, where a man was shot and killed in Salt Spring to be exact. Now his name is Jovan Keen Roden of Salt Spring District you see on the screen right now. Now based on information, Jovan Keen, who is 24 years of age, of Church Lane in Magic Top, Salt Spring, St. James, was shot and killed earlier this week. Reports are that residents heard loud explosion at exactly 11.30 p.m. in Church Lane to be exact. Now the police were caught to the scene on arrival. They saw this young man on the screen right now lying in a pool of blood. Now Jevon Keen had gunshot wounds to his upper body. They in the hospital where he was pronounced dead. So far there's no motive as to why he was murdered. The police are investigating. Now we head towards Gold Street in the parish of Kingston St. Andrew where a popular shopkeeper who is Ronald Brown aka Romy was shot and killed by criminal elements along Gold Street yesterday. Now based on information, now around 4.15 a.m. yesterday morning, Brown was in his community of Gold Street when he was ambushed and attacked by criminal elements. Those criminal elements pulled guns and fired several shots hitting Brown of the body before escaping. Now the police was called to the scene and arrival, they saw Brown with multiple gunshot wounds to his body lying in a pool of blood. On the spot, Brown was confirmed dead. So far, there's no motive as to why he was killed. The police are investigating. Now, still the parish of Kingston St. Andrew, the police yet again ran an excellent operation. Now, this time, the Metro Quick Response Team did an operation in Verin. Avenue to be exact in Kingston 10. Now based on information they see this gun you see on the screen right now a Tyros 9mm pistol and also tens rounds of ammunition. Now two men were held in this operation for this illegal gun. Excellent work. When you recover illegal gun and they may responsible for this illegal gun or illegal guns that's a big plus for the JCF. Excellent job once again by JCF in recovering a legal gun and arresting two men in Verwin Avenue in Kingston and St. Andrew. Now we head towards Alligator Pan in Manchester where on Monday another foreigner drowned in the waters of Alligator Pan. Now his name is 23-year-old Trevino Sutherland of a Canada address. Now based on information, Mr. Sutherland went to Alligator Pan with other farm members who are from Canada. Now when the water got in difficulties, but somehow passerby took him from the water and tried to revive him. However, efforts were failed. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now you see where every year somebody drown in alligator pond. That place is a safe place to swim. So I urge residents and foreigners to venture to that location to swim. 
or else you'll get in difficulties and you'll lose your life. This is Jay Crazy News once again today. Have a blessed and safe Thursday afternoon. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play with him a review the thing them. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play with him a review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them 